Hey guys, before we get started with the tutorial, I just want to come on and say that I am not a mini album expert, that I have watched a lot of YouTube videos, mostly coming from Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, which designed, I think, the book, and then also from John Ford, who has his methodical approach to cutting and providing some of the measurements that I'm going to give you when making the binding but I wanted to refer you to those YouTube channels and if you have any questions just leave them down in the comment section below and also please go and visit Rosa Kelly scrapbooking and John Ford's YouTube page <music> of our video and we're now working on the right cover as you can see barely right there like right there <laughs> so yes we have been moving right along now um, in the last segment we got our left page done it looks very pretty we have not done our covers because we are holding off on doing anything to those yet but yes it looks really neat really cool and it's ready for pictures on the left side. So now we're going to work on this right. So I have my papers here. I have the right cover page. We started on the left cover page before. It's exactly the same on this right. I still don't have my <laughs> pointer tool, okay? I'm using a pen. Just terrible. But I need to go get it. I keep saying that, but I'll be done with the book before I get up out this seat. <laughs> so our right cover page is going to open out to the right of the book. And again, we're going to lay this down so that we have about an eighth of an inch. We don't want to go to the edge of the book. We want about an eighth of an inch left. And we want to do the same thing and make sure it's lined up at the top. So from there we can go ahead and press down and now we can remove the tape paper in the middle. We can burnish that but we'll wait just a minute. We'll go ahead and get the rest of our page down. Alright, right cover page is down. That means that I can put on the piece that's going to go in the insert here. So I will glue that down. Get that out the way. I could wait till the entire book was done, but we can do it now and get that part done. And I don't have to go up under the pages to insert this. I want to put it right in those flaps that I just glued down. And remember I left like three quarters of an inch unglued. So that I 
could insert this thinner paper in to the book. Right there, and we're going to rub off all excess, excess glue and go ahead and rub that and let that dry while we work on the rest of the book. Okay, and then we want to close our glue back up so we don't have to stick a pin in it because the glue is dried in the nozzle. All right, so now we've got the first, right first flap, and it has two score lines on it. We want to make sure that we fold on both of those score lines, but we're only going to tape down the half inch score line here. So again, I'm going to take this, pull off a tiny piece, it's going to go right on top of this page, right on the edge. And you have that gusset because you're gonna have another page folding into it. So now that we've got that down, we can just pull the tape paper. If it lets me. <laughs> right here. And then we're going to rub so that double-sided tape adheres and now we have this page that has a slight crease in it okay so next we're going to add in our second page which is our second flap And this flap is actually going to go on this page and it's going to flip out. And the reason that we have this extra here is because all of this is going to be folded on the inside. So that's why you need more space here. So I am going to glue this piece down. I'm going to put a little glue on the top when I get to that part because my tape isn't all the way up to the top. So I'm just going to put a little glue there. Close that back up. And we're going to stick this on this page. Line up the bottom. And then press that down. And we can pull our tape paper. And we... Do you have to wait for that glue to dry a little bit? Just want to make sure we get all of the glue that's oozing out. And now we've got this page that also folds over to here. So now I'm going to move my book over because we're now going to add two pages that's going to flip out over here. So this is my third right flap and it also has an extra score line on it. Okay, we're going to get a pin, remove part of the tape. So this page is going to open out this way. So we want to put our tape page here, line it up, top to bottom. I can press the top in place and then remove my tape paper right there and now we're ready to go 
last page it's going to go on this page and flip out so we're going to press this one down next rub this score line and we're going to put this onto the edge of this page and I don't have a whole lot of room here so I'm hoping that you can see this got a piece of tape on the end I want to fold back And I actually pulled this whole tape off at one time. You can do that if you're comfortable doing that. And then this is our last flap that comes out. So now we're going to put our pocket on. I've already folded down my tape and we're going to just peel this back. And this pocket is going to go on top of our right cover page. And we want to make sure that we stay out of the gutter of any score marks. That's why we cut it a little bit shorter. And we can place that and then peel our tape paper. Press that down. And now I got to do the two sides. And over here. Right there. And now we can just rub this into position. Okay. The only thing we've got left to do is this cover has a flap on the outside on the right you've got your right top flap and your bottom top flap so we're going to go ahead and score these lines and then this is the top i'm going to peel off a little piece our last two page pieces and we're going to put this up on top Sorry, I had to get my head in there so I could see. <laughs> but right there, that's my top flap. It's the larger one. And then we're just going to rub that in. And now we're going to add the bottom flap onto the bottom part of the page. Right here. Okay, right there, and then pull the tape and press, open up, and rub it. Okay, now this page you could also close with the magnetic closure if you want, but we're going to actually close this after we do the designer paper. We're going to add some chipboard hearts onto here, and we're going to use twine to close it. So, we are now finished with adding all of our black pages. I like to open it back up just to make sure that nothing is sticking where it should not be. That's going to make my book not want to open. And now we're going to go and decorate these pages. We're almost done, guys. So, let's go ahead and open 
this back up. We've got this right center pocket. We'll just start there and start decorating that. We've got this piece of designer paper that's cut one and a half by six and one fourth. And we're just going to slide that into the pocket. So we're going to put this piece of designer paper into the pocket just so you can't see the black when you look into the pocket. Again, this paper is much thinner so it's a little bit harder to get in, but it's really pretty. Really pretty. I love it. So that paper is in. So here is my two and one quarter by six and a fourth. This goes on here and then we will rub everything to make sure it's all stuck down. And when I add the pocket and have glue, I like to make sure that I go in there and make sure that that glue hasn't come into the pocket as well. Because I don't want a pocket that I can't get into. And then sometimes to let people know that a pocket is here, you can also add a card here. Like you can add a, another photo card or you can just add a note card here if you like. I'm going to take it out temporarily because we need to put a card up here on top. So these are my choices right here. And I think I'm going to go with gray in the center. I'm using more neutral colors because this album only really has orange green and like a peach color. It's not many colors in here. I didn't realize that until I start making it, but it sure is pretty. Okay, so my center is now done. I can come back and add this in here if I like. Now we're ready to do our inside. And I like to open the entire thing up. I know you can't see it. So I like to open up the entire thing. So I've got a flap right here that you can kind of see coming up over the cards here but I've got a flap here and then I've got this flap here so I like to kind of coordinate how I am going to put these pieces in and this is where my three and one fourth by six and one fourth pieces come in okay I just wanted to stop that video because we had been recording for a while just in case it wanted to cut off on me. <laughs> and what I like to do is kind of take my papers and plan how my papers are going to go into my book. Do I want my decorative paper down on the bottom? Maybe these two up on the top. So that way I can plan um, my layout a little bit. Not a big deal. And then I'm going to go ahead and use... Some of these cards here um, again we don't have a whole lot of color choices but I do like this color there and then we already got green with these two so either way I had too much green so then I plan out my inner pages before I glue them down. So now I'm just going to go ahead and fold this page down, fold this page over, and now I can actually bring my book back into me so that I can just work on what I what you can see in the book here. Let me take that down. And now I'm going to zoom you back in.
So now we fold that page in and we're still on the right side of the book. So we still have these two pages that are blank here before we do the last two fold ins. So again, I like to kind of coordinate what's going on. See what's on the back page and I do the reverse. So I'll put the orange flowers up there, orange roses. And we're going to get a couple pieces of designer paper. We're going to use this green this time. Add a little bit more green into the book. Right there. And we're going to glue these down. So it's just a process once you get your actual book made. And I like having all of my pieces pre-cut instead of having to figure out what I'm going to put on a page. I like to just have them all cut out at one time. It goes a lot faster. Also, if I was doing uh, all six of my books at one time, I would have done the left side for all of my books. And then I would come back and do the right side for all of my books. Uh, continuity of the same technique makes it easier on your brain as far as remembering what it is that you got to do. So now we fold this flap down and we are going to put the paper on the bottom this time. Cut a little short. <laughs> It'll be okay. All right, so we've got all of the insides completed. I always like to double check. Fold over, fold over. Now we've got these sections inside of this flap. So there's this flap that came down, this flap that went up. We've now got to complete all of this section. So let's see. I was putting cards in here. Do I want them up or down? That is the question. Okay. So we've got this piece that's going to go there. This just gets a photo card. This one gets a photo card and a one inch strip at the top. One and a half inch strip, I'm sorry, at the top. So this is what goes up there. And we just glue these down. This bottom part just gets a photo mat. And maybe since the photo mat is there, I may want to slide my pieces down. You always got choices on how you want to put your books together. So I may slide my book down, put this piece down here, and slide that piece up. So it'll be glued together like that. So let's go ahead and get that done.
again, if you see any glue, make sure you rub your hand on it to pick it up. Paper towel. Alright, so now we have this section that folds up. This section folds down. Now we've got to decorate this outer edge. This is the one where we actually put the four and one quarter by six and one quarter designer paper. This one could have been a photo, but if you don't want, you can put a photo here. I have done that in some of my books, but if you don't want a photo here, uh, because you're going to be putting some kind of closure on here, you may, you, you may change your mind because of that. Also, you could just decide, you can just go ahead and put the closure over the photo, and then you'll have another place to add an actual photo that would make 24 places. We got one more flap, guys, and we're done with the actual building of the book. So this flap here is going to take a photo. And then what I did was I added a piece at the top and a piece at the bottom. And you don't have to do that. You could just put your photo down and just maybe cut like a one and a quarter inch piece and just put it either at the top or the bottom. And the reason why I did this is because I'm going to put my closure here so that my closure had an actual spot to be. And I didn't want it to be on my actual photo. So that's why I actually added two pieces of paper here. You could also cut this and use the same paper. I just like randomly putting paper from the... paper pad together because it was all made together so I know it's going to all look pretty together because the colors are gonna match up and I'm just going to let that dry right there rub it out and we'll do the I'll come back with the bone folder in a minute here but I want to get my hearts down and I want to raise this one up a little bit more so that I've got room to put that closure in there. So I'm leaving more than an eighth. It's, it's just a little bit more. It's not a whole lot. And then I can put these down. And these pieces that I put down on this page are one half inch by six and one fourth. Just in case I did not tell you. And then this piece goes up on top. Now I have a dedicated spot for my closure. And I even could have pulled it up a little bit more, but that's okay. Now I can rub all of this in. Make sure I get up any excess glue. All right. And we're now done with this part of the binder cover. I'm going to take a quick break because we're at the point on my video where it's going to cut off anyway. And we are going to finish this binder in this setting. I just need to go get my hot glue gun and get it heated up. And then we're going to glue on our front and back covers. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys. We are back and we're now ready to do our covers. I'm actually going to put this paper on our front cover and this paper is going on our back cover. So again, more glue and lots of glue. This paper is cut eight by eight. Our album is eight and one eighth. So it's going to go real close to the edge. Ok, 
Okay, I'm going to rub this down. I want to make sure I don't have any of those glue lines under my paper. And you notice I just went ahead and put the page down. The paper looks okay, even though it's thin. It does look like it's, it's not any shadow coming through. So I'm satisfied with that. So I didn't add a piece of black underneath this. Make sure we've got everything smooth out here. Very nice. Beautiful. Somebody's going to love this. <laughs> and now we're going to do the butterflies on the back cover. with the glue well yeah we're done I'm just gonna demo what I would do cuz I've already done it make sure you don't get sloppy on the end get any of that glue that's spreading out yes very nice make sure we get all of that excess glue off our book all right the only thing that i haven't done is i told you that i have not been putting the spine colors on yet and i may start doing that because i think i'm just going to use a piece of color paper put it on the spine and call it a day and that would just be that seven eighths by eight inches that we have on your paper already I just did not cut it because I wasn't sure if I wanted it to wrap around the front but or what I wanted it to actually say if I wanted something that I could write on as far as a color but I think most people when they get this book they'll know what it is because they're not gonna have a duplicate of it so the only thing that we've got to do now is we've got to find some kind of way of making this page stay closed and so what I've done with some of my chipboard pieces I have a lot of them back there where I have just been cutting like little small hearts and then I also have cut from the uh, scrap pattern paper and if the cover of the book has areas that I can cut out I also cut out of those because they're a little bit thicker than the paper but what I do is I just take my glue here and I would just adhere this to this and then if I see any like any lightness on the side I would just take my sharpie marker and just color that in on the side with my sharpie marker so that I, that way I don't have any of the chipboard color actually showing and so I have already done that part with two hearts that's not in part of this paper pack but I am going to use them anyway they are at least green and so I want to put a heart right here that's going to hold that part closed and then I'm gonna put a heart down here that's going to be a wrap around now you need some kind of way of elevating this if you're trying to get twine underneath and I don't want to glue the entire thing flat I just want a drop of glue so I am going to use hot glue because it will dry a little bit uh, thick and then that way I'll have something that I can wrap my twine around and we're just going to sit that there and let that dry again we're going to do that again with this piece here just put a little bit in the center and now I'm going to go ahead and cut this off since that's all well <laughs> I forgot to put my I'm gonna have to pull this one up guys I forgot to put my twine down first okay my bad so I'm just gonna cut a piece of twine 
cut it in half. And I actually want to glue down my twine first. I'm going to put a knot in it just so it has something to grip to. Sorry about that. But this is what happens when you are actually creating stuff. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use, I got to cut this glue gun back on again. Hope it's still warm enough. I'm going to actually put a drop of glue in the middle and stick my twine onto that glue. I wanted to see if my other one was uh, already cooled off and it was. So I'm going to stick that knot right on the back. And you know you're going to get um, hot glue. It's just going to trail. Don't worry about that part. I'm going to pull off the hot glue that dried back here. And I am going to knot the other end of my thread here. My twine. Just so that the glue has something to bite into. So that's one. Here is number two. So we've got that one. And now we can add some more glue. And you could use like Coal 3D gel. I got some coming in the mail, but I don't have any right now because it dries thicker as well and I don't know if any other manufacturers make a glue that dries puffy and so we are now going to just go ahead and sit this right there and we want to make sure that it's not going to interfere with our picture that's going to be up there so I want to make sure that it's not flat and we're now going to glue this next piece and that knot also helps to keep it raised. And we're going to put this one down here. We actually didn't even need one of these on here. <laughs> Let me take... <laughs> Guys, it's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> we don't need any twine on this bottom piece because we're going to be wrapping them around, not tying. So, I try to give you all good videos, but sometimes I have to let you see when I do mess up because everything does not go according to plan all the time, okay? <laughs> just keep that in mind. And I'm just peeling up this glue once it cooled off my paper so that it's not a big wad of glue there. So I've got that one stuck down. I've got to put just a little glue on here, enough to raise it up. And I can now cut this off. I don't want to take the stand down. I just want to cut it off. I'm letting it dry just a little bit so that it doesn't squash down. And then I'm going to place that on my page. Press just a little. And that's enough right there just to hold it. <laughs> and I will keep this piece of twine for another page I got to the end of the book and started making like major mistakes goodness gracious okay so So we've got glue now on these pages and I'm not going to do it like really hard but then you can take this and just figure eight it closed and then another thing that I would do is you can burn these ends so that the twine doesn't unravel anymore 
or you can also add a charm if you have some kind of charms you can also add that on here so this book and the other ones I haven't even completed any of the books fully yet but I plan to add like cut out in the black scraps some die cuts that are sewing related because these are actually going to my sewing friends and I want to put like silhouettes in some of the blank spots that will take like say maybe um, a thread a spool of thread or thimble or something like that I just want to put those throughout the book and I think I'll just use black because I'm using black pages and kind of make them as like silhouettes so that's it for this book I enjoyed making it I hope you like it I hope you take it up on yourself to make a few specialty books especially for like special occasions new babies or weddings uh, major birthdays I think that they are really fun for that uh, I will also come back with another video showing you how to make actual spine and how to make uh, optional pages these pages are just stuck down they're not actually in the spine and I do want to come back and show you how to make pages that are not that are in a spine like when I made my three and a half inch uh, spine book I put two pages in there I actually had enough room to probably put a third page but I will show you how to make pages and I will probably come back and show you how I'm going to make some um, inserts that you can slide into the book here thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe Share my channel with your other quilting friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.